वेलकम आई विल डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ कोनिक सेक्शन व्हिच केम इन द आईआईटी एग्जाम इन डिफरेंट इयर्स आई विल शो हाउ टू डू द सम्स क्विकली ऑलमोस्ट विद इन 1 मिनट लेट अस सी वन बाय वन द एरिया ऑफ द क्वाड्रिलेटरल formed by the tangent at the in points of natural delta to the index x square by 9 plus y square by 5 equal to 1 you have to find the area of the quadrilateral see i have already drawn the figure this is the helix and this is the quadrilateral the tangents are drawn at the in points of natural delta so We have to find this area from the figure. If we can understand it, then the sum will be very easy, since these are all identical things. So, if we can find area of this triangle, so you can see from symmetry, all the four triangles will be equal. So we have to find the area of that triangle and multiply it by two. So first we will find. E, E equals to what? E equals to root of one minus b square by a square, five by nine, nine minus five, four by nine equals to two by three. So E equals to E over three, three into two by three equals to two. So This point is two comma zero. So what will be the corresponding value of x? So we want to know this point. This is x square by nine plus here x is two. X square by nine plus y square by five equals to one. Now what is x? X is two, so you can say two square. That is four by nine. So from here, y square by five will be equal to one minus four by nine. That is nine minus four by nine, five by nine. So y square equals to twenty five by nine. Y equals to plus minus. Five by three, five by the twenty five, five by three. So that means this point is two comma five by three. At this point, equation of tangent. Equation of tangent is y minus y one equals to dy dx. So from here, what is dy dx? Two x. By nine plus two y by five dy dx equals to zero. Here x and y is known. That is four by nine plus equals to minus. We can do it that side. That two into five by three. Y is five by three into one by five dy dx. So dy dx equals to four by nine into minus three by two. That is equal to minus two by three. So equal to minus two by three into x minus x one. This is the equation of tangent. Now we want to know this point and this point. What will be this point and this point? If we can find these two points, we can find area of tangent. At this point, y equals to zero. So what we can write? Putting y equals to zero, this is coming. So minus minus you can cut three three you can cut. 
so 5 equals to 2x minus 4 so 2x equals to 9 or x equals to 9 by 2 so now x equals to 9 by 2 this one we are getting this point is 9 by 2 comma 0 now we have to find this point for this point we have, we have to put, find, put x equals to 0 in this equation hmm. equation of tangent if we are putting x equals to 0 hmm. so what we are getting equation is y minus 5 by 3 equals to minus 2 by 3 into minus 2 that means y equals to 5 by 3 plus 4 by 3 9 by 3 is 3 so y this point will be 0 comma 3 so what will be the area of triangle area of triangle will be half into base into height base is our 9 by 2 and height is 3 and this type of four triangles are there so you can directly find into four so it will be two two four we can cut equals to 27 square units if unit is provided you can find so this will be the area of that quadrilateral in this way we can find it comparatively easily and in less time now we can proceed to the next sum. Now see what is the next sum. The point of contact of the line this one and the hyperbola this one. You have to find the point of contact. To find the point of contact it is very simple. Find from here x equals to what? x equals to 2 minus y root 6 by 2. This we are getting x. Put this value of x here. So we are getting 2 minus y root 6 by 2 whole square minus 2y square equals to 4 this square will be 4 plus 6y square minus 4 root 6 y and here by squaring this one will come 4 so you can write minus 8y square equals to 16 I am doing directly so what we are getting if we are changing sign so 4 so it will come 2y square plus 4 root 6 y plus 12 equals to 0 or y square plus 2 root 6 y plus 6 equals to 0 or we can say y plus root 6 whole square equals to 0 that means y equals to minus root 6 from here we are getting the value of y so you can find x x equals to 2 minus minus root 6 into root 6 by 2 that is 2 plus 6 by 2 8 by 2 that is 4 so the point becomes 4 comma root minus root 6 so this is the point of contact between this one and the hyperbola.
In this way, we can find in comparatively less time. Now we are going to do the third sum. See this one. <coughs> the equation of the common tangent to the parabola this one and this one. Let us assume y equals to mx plus c be the common tangent. So y equals to mx plus c is a tangent to this one. So we can say mx plus c equals to x square. Or we can write x square minus mx minus c equals to 0. Here knowing if a line is tangent to a card then there is only one point of contact that means this quadratic equation will have a single solution and when it is there when the discriminant is 0 that means b m square minus it will become plus 4c equals to 0. Or from here we can say m square equals to minus 4c. Now this is uh, <coughs> tangent to this one also. So what we can say here we can say mx plus c equals to minus of x minus 2 whole square. Or if you are taking this side x square minus 4x plus 4 plus mx plus c equals to 0 or x square plus x into m minus 4 plus c plus 4 equals to 0 from here Discriminant is m minus 4 whole square. It will be equal to 4 ac. That is 4 into c plus 4. Or <coughs> m square minus 8m plus 16 equals to 4c plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 we can cut but here we got minus m square equals to minus 4c so 4c will be minus m square so m square minus 8m equals to minus m square or we can say 2m square minus 8m equals to 0 to m in m minus 4 equals to 0. Remember follow this style don't cut in. So from here you have to say m equals to 0 or m equals to 4. If you are cutting m from here then you will not get m equals to 0. So now our equation is y equals to mx plus c m is 0, when m is 0, then c is also 0, when m is 0, then c is 0, then y equals to 0, this is one answer. Another possibility is m is 4, if m is 4, then m, m square is 16 equals to minus 4c or c equals to minus 4. Then the equation becomes y equals to m is 4, 4x plus c, c is minus 4, 4x minus 4. We are getting these two solutions and you cannot omit any of the solutions. I, can, I think I can able to explain how to do the sums comparatively less.